What is up team? Welcome back to the channel. Check out this view. We're actually going to ride somewhere to that peninsula around there and get the drone out and get some cool footage. But anyway, in this video, I thought I'd cover a pretty cool topic, especially for newbies, because I'm going to go back and reminisce of what it was like when I first got my motorcycle and give you guys a couple of thoughts in no particular order on what is awesome about getting a motorcycle and the pros of riding one. I never get bored of how stupid this thing looks hanging off. But I like the angle, so anyway, that way. So I know I said in no particular order, but let me just get the first point out of the way and let's just give that its own number one because for anyone that's had a bike before, this is a given. This is probably the main thing you're gonna notice when you get a bike and it's the fact you're never gonna wanna get off of it. You're gonna wanna ride the thing 24 seven. No one's gonna be able to separate you from it. No girlfriend, no wife, no commitments, no job, I'm telling you. You're gonna to wanna to go home from work early. You're gonna to want to go to work late. Sometimes you might even wanna take the day off work. Things that your friends have said you were gonna do on the weekend. You're gonna flag that, pie them off, and you're gonna go for a ride. It's addictive, and that's the best thing about riding, is you get hooked very quick. And as a newbie, that's never a bad thing. The more you ride, the more miles you get under your seat the better you become, the more confident you get. It's an endless cycle. It just begins that cycle. You're on day one of that recurring wheel. If you do get a bike, I'm already gonna say a weird handshake. Welcome to the club. You are not going to regret it. Number two is gonna be you get more in touch with nature. And I don't mean like a hippie hugging a tree. I mean that you are more open into the wild. I can feel the wind on my hand, my helmet, myself. When you go through certain areas like this, you can smell the trees more, you can wiggle around, you get to feel like you're more free. That is so much more fun to me than driving a car. Driving a car, you're just stuck inside of a box. You don't really get that kind of, I don't know how to say it, you don't get that tactile feel of riding a motorcycle. And that alone, on top of number one, it gets addictive coming out here and seeing things up close and getting in touch with nature. Honestly, I can't tell you how many times I've just gone for a ride or gone somewhere new and looked around more than I've ever looked around. In a car, you tend to just look at the road. You might look over here or there, but on a bike, you really pay attention, I guess, because even if you're really chill like I am now, you're still kind of a lot more hypersensitive to your surroundings and using your eyes and tactile feelings a lot more because you are at the end of the day on a bike, which is stimulating my brain a lot more. And talking about stimulating your brain, that will tie into number three. You actually get quicker with your cognitive function, believe it or not. I believe I've seen this somewhere. I will find it and if I can, I'll put it on the screen. You actually become slightly cleverer because you use your functions a lot more. It's a bit like an old person doing a crossword or some sort of puzzle. You keep your brain firing which keeps it nice and young. So overall, I find when I ride a bike over the years, I've kept my wit and my sharpness maybe a little bit more so than I would have before because I'm not constantly doing mundane stuff. I'm not just sitting in a car. I'm enjoying life and riding a bike and constantly having to think about it, which keeps my brain firing all the time. So that's a positive. Anything that you can do to keep your brain going, I always advocate for because that's definitely gonna bring me on to the next point and that is gonna be your mental health. Mental health is a huge one when it comes to riding. There's a reason why there's so many things you can find online of people talking about riding will save your mental health. A lot of guys get bikes, midlife crises, things like that. It's for a reason. Sometimes the stereotypes are a thing and that's why they exist because they do have some truth to it. First of all, look at this view. But yeah, like even just for mental health in general, like I advocate so much for riding. The freedom and everything I'm saying in this video ties hand in hand. Everything kind of comes together in a package. And I can speak from experience. The reason I do these videos, the reason I upload to YouTube, as weird as it is for myself, is because I'm not the best public speaker. Hang on, I know I was talking about mental health, but let me just pause these for a second. And let's check this out. That's the perks of having a camera on my chin and a helmet with a microphone. What a view. As I was saying, mental health is a massive thing. Riding a bike will ultimately aid in your mental health. I can think of a million reasons why. I don't know why it exactly worked for you. I can tell you why it works for me and many other people that I know. And that's because for me, I find just escaping and having a bit of time to myself so therapeutic. I won't get too into the personal stuff. There's nothing really to tell you guys. I'm just someone who really overthinks a lot. And when you're on a bike, it's kind of like going for a walk and you get to explore more, which I find exploring is never a bad thing. And getting out and going for a ride, feeling the rumble of the engine, just getting some wind in the hair that I don't have, does me some damn good. 
especially in a country like this. So if you do live in a place that has scenery like New Zealand or anywhere close, I think even more so you should get yourself a motorbike and get out there and start exploring. Because prime example, I've never been to this little beach and there's no way I'd ever come here in a car. But what I would do is what I just did, come for a random ride and end up here. Tell you what, let's get some cool drone footage and we'll hop back on the bike and I'll give you some more reasons. How does that sound? I'm not gonna lie team, I think that view itself is worth a click on the subscribe button. So continuing on from mental health, I won't get too deep into that because I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I'm just a guy who has a motorbike who hopefully someone can relate to on the other end of the screen. But I would definitely advocate and if you look online, you'll find tons of people saying the same thing and you'll be surprised at what it does when you get outside on two wheels. And with that, I guess that ties on nicely to another point is the community. The motorcycle, motorbike community is welcoming for the most part for everybody. If you're someone who's usually pretty quiet and reserved and want to make more friends and aren't really too sure how to go about it, this is the answer of how to go about it. Now I don't mean you're gonna buy one and every single person's gonna run up to you and you're suddenly gonna start pulling the ladies. However, there are so many motorcycle meets and reasons for people to wanna to ride with each other that one quick Facebook search or Google search, you'll find a ride near you and I guarantee you, you'll be strong pressed to come away from that ride without meeting at least one person you can make friends with. And the best thing about it is there's something for all. If you wanna go on a stunt ride, there's a stunt ride. You wanna go on just a normal Sunday evening, there's a Sunday evening ride. You wanna go on something a bit more club specific and a bit more member based, go join a club. But I'm telling you, there's something for everyone when it comes to riding a motorcycle. Now lastly, I'm gonna leave you guys with something that's not so much of a sentimental value. It's more of a monetary gain. Motorcycles are inherently cheaper to run to an extent. And for you guys who do watch your wallet and count your pennies, there's always a cheap motorcycle to be had second hand that's reliable and will run on fumes. That's the best scenario you can do if you don't have a motorcycle. Save as hard as you can and get something cheap and reliable. Unless you're lucky and fortunate enough to get something like this or better, I'm telling you guys, you'll never look back once you get a motorcycle. What more do you need? If you're watching this video and it tickles your pickle to go out and get yourself a motorcycle, definitely hit the like button. I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna come up with for this video. Let me know below and let everyone else know who's watching, who's thinking of getting a bike if you already own one, what they're missing out on. And if there are any specific video topics you would like me to cover surrounding motorcycling, my thoughts or anything like that, just let me know in the comments because I'll happily cover them. Honestly dudes, I'm telling you, if you're lucky enough to live somewhere that has views like this, get yourself one of these things, man. I'm telling you a hundred times over. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and be sure to let me know in the comments below if there is any particular video you'd like me to cover from me and this little thing here and that little 360 camera and this little GoPro here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.